For those of you who fall completely under its spell, you will experience the visual expansion of the world around you. As I count backwards from three to one, when I get to one, you will fall deeper and deeper relaxed. And when I get to one, you will look away from the disc, and you will look me in the eyes. Three, you are relaxed. Two, very, very relaxed. One, look me in the eyes. just a little bit more. Real magic has nothing to do with tricks. Real magic is about perspective. Think about this, every one of us, we're all coming here from different places, and yet we're all gathered here in the same room. And yet even though we're all in here in the same room, we're all, each and every one of us, experiencing something different. Now we can't help it. It's because of all the different perspectives from which we are approaching our world. If any one of us wanted to change our experience, we could, of course, leave the room, but that's not always possible. Sometimes we get into situations where we can't leave the room. So in cases where we can't leave our situation, we can still change our perspective to change our experience. Two of my favorite quotes talk about this. One of these quotes comes from a comedian, and it's, it's quite an absurd joke. And the other comes from an author. But they're both using different words, and yet they're both talking about the same thing. I'll tell you the absurd joke first. The comedian Stephen Wright once said that sometimes even when you lose, you actually win. Kind of like when you're playing a game of musical electric chairs. <laughs> That's a game you don't want to play. It's a game you don't want to win. Different words talking about the same thing. The author Napoleon Hill once said that sometimes the worst thing that can happen to you could be the best thing for you. So long as you don't let it get the best of you. Now this positive mental attitude approach, I admit, it's easier said than done. It does take some work, but I promise you, if you work on this every day, to look at the world in this positive perspective, it will literally reveal a whole new world for you. I had an experience a number of years ago. I was working at a restaurant in East Windsor, Connecticut. La Notte Restaurante. It was a little Greek place. My job was to go table to table performing magic for people as they were waiting for their meals to arrive. On this one particular night, it was, it was in, in the middle of the summer, I was in the dining room performing for a family when there was this huge commotion on the other side of the room. It was an elderly couple. Now, I'm a horrible judge of age. If I didn't have my driver's license, I probably wouldn't even remember my, how old I am. But if I had to guess, this couple, they must have been at least, give or take a few years, about 120 years old. <laughs> give or take a few years. They were really old, that's the moral of the story. But the, the, but the wife, the woman was choking on her food. And now, even though she was able to, to cough it up pretty quickly so she was fine, she was visibly distraught for such a simple, small thing. So I see my job as an entertainer, partially to distract people from such things. So I went over to their table. I didn't perform any magic tricks for them, but the woman shared with me her story. She said that just a couple weeks earlier, she was sitting at the same restaurant, sitting at the same table, and on that day, she also choked on her food. And I stopped her there, and I said, you might want to sit at a different table, thinking maybe that had something to do with it. She ignored my interruption. She said that on this day, she couldn't cough up her food. She said that uh, someone at the bar, she had to actually come over and perform the Heimlich uh, on her. And she he just kept pounding and pounding at this frail, 120-year-old woman. <laughs> and her husband told me that at one point, her face uh, started to lose color, started to go gray, and just kept pounding and pounding. She could not breathe. And then just before, it might have been too late. Finally, <gasps> finally, she was able to breathe. Now, by, by this point, of course, the, the paramedics had been called. And even though she could breathe fine, they still brought her to the hospital, fearing maybe 
she had broken some ribs as this man was trying to literally save her life. When they got her to the hospital, they didn't find any broken ribs. But what they did find is the reason that I'm telling you this story. Because when this woman told me what had happened at the hospital, it changed my life forever and it changed my whole view of my own life. And I'm hoping that it might do the same for you folks. They did not find any broken ribs, but they did find an aneurysm, a blood clot that was about to burst. This was someone's, this was someone's mother, someone's grandmother, someone's great, great, great grandmother. She, she had lived her entire life, and it was just not her time to go. Had this terrible near-death experience not happened, had this horrible thing not happened, she surely would have died. And yet there could be someone no more than 26 years old, and it just might be their time to go. Perspective. Now, it can be said that there's nothing good about tragedy, that it's better to be at peace than in chaos, better to be happy than sad. But just as choking on a piece of food can have a greater meaning, so long as we're willing to look at it in a new perspective, we can be fascinated by it rather than frustrated by it. It will reveal a whole new world to us. Let's try this together. 